your iOS device. How many bits has it got and does it make any difference when you're screen recording with Airshow? Let's address the bits issue first. I've seen 16-bit, 32-bit and 64-bit mentioned in the comments. Well, when it comes to iOS devices, there is no such thing as 16-bit. I think you're mistaking the storage capacity of your device, which is gigabytes. And there is a 16 gigabytes and a 32 gigabytes and a 64 gigabyte iOS device. When we talk about bits, we're talking about how the information is handled by your CPU on your iOS device. 64-bit is better than 32-bit because it can handle more. And as iPhones, iPads and iPods have advanced in technology, we've moved from 32-bit to 64-bit. And a list of all these devices and which bit they are is on screen now. Now what happened recently was that Airshow was updated to a 64-bit application, which meant that it didn't work on 32-bit applications anymore. Now we all complained about this and the developers fixed it so that it works on both versions again. However, this has led to an interesting difference between the two versions on the two different types of devices. And to illustrate, I have two iPads in front of me. On the left hand side is an iPad Mini 4, which is a 64-bit device. And on the right side, we have an iPad Mini 1, which is a 32-bit device. Both of them are running the Airshow 0.5.1 version of the application. So let's see what the difference is. If you try and record, you will see an extra setting on the 64-bit version of the application. And that setting is called Smooth Seeking. And what this enables you to do is screen recordings, which you can then play back in the photo gallery. Previously, if you did this, you'd be able to hear the audio, but sometimes the video would be completely out of sync, even though the actual recording was fine if you copied it to a PC and tried to edit it. So what I decided to do at this point was a recording with both Smooth Seeking turned on and turned off, copy the files into a computer and look at the video properties. The results were really quite interesting. With Smooth Seeking turned on, look at the frame rate, it's at 18 frames per second. However, if you have Smooth Seeking turned off, the old way of recording, the frame rate jumps up to 49 frames a second. Now remember, the Smooth Seeking option is only available to 64-bit devices, which means that 32-bit devices record in the old format. So does that mean we're getting better quality on the older format recordings? Absolutely. To prove that, here are two screen recordings of exactly the same thing, a game of Clash Royale. On the left hand side, we have a screen recording using Smooth Seeking turned on. And on the right hand side, we have the same recording with Smooth Seeking turned off. Now, even though this video has been edited down to 30 frames a second, you can clearly see that if you have Smooth Seeking turned off, you get a better final product. The good news is that option is open to everyone by default. The bad news is, as I say, if you try and play back those videos in your photo gallery, it doesn't work that well. You may have to copy it onto a computer or put it through a video editor on your iOS device. So I hope that clears up how many bits your device has and the distinction between Smooth Seeking turned on and Smooth Seeking turned off. I hope you found that useful and informative. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like. If you have any more questions, pop them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, I've got a load more on iOS screen recorders. So subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.